All right, weather-wise, uh, clocks, they're going to be moving forward for daylight saving time this weekend. Yeah, a local cardiologist says you should be taking steps now to protect your heart. First News reporter Simone Blair tells you why and how. Studies over the past year say a regular sleep schedule is key to heart health. Which unfortunately many of us you know, don't get because of our work schedules and busy family schedules. But it is recommended that we try to get a minimum of seven and preferably up to eight or even nine hours per night. With daylight saving time beginning this Sunday, sleep is especially important this week. The American Heart Association says heart attack risk jumps 24% the Monday after clocks move forward. Risk of stroke goes up 8%. Dr. Bakta tells me that this makes sense because we should all aim to have a regular sleep schedule based on another study. If your wake or sleep times uh, differ by more than an hour and a half uh, during the week, it's actually associated with a two and a half fold increased risk of heart attacks over the five year study period. But Dr. Bakta says there's a simple step you can take now. It'll help protect your heart. Maybe the week before, like starting this week, for instance, since the clocks are going forward next Saturday, maybe gradually going to sleep, maybe an extra even 20 minutes per night uh, to get that extra hour of sleep before Saturday may be helpful. You should also be on the watch for potential heart attack symptoms after the time change. Things like chest pain, increased fatigue or headaches, and generally feeling unwell. If you experience those, Dr. Bakta says go to the emergency room. Know that it is safe to come to the hospital. You're not going to get COVID if you come to the hospital. If you think you're having a heart attack or stroke, it's far more important that you call 911 and get help. Simone Blair, WKVN 27 First News.